Hello guys, welcome to this Media TV. If you're watching this channel for the first time, kindly click the subscribe button to subscribe and also click the notification bell to get notified anytime we drop a new video. Embattled Fulani warlord Iskil Wakil has left the hospital for headquarters of the Oyo State Police Command in Eleele Ibadan. Wakili was said to have been taken to the hospital on the directive of Commissioner of Police Ngozi Onodeko after he was handed over to the police by men of the Odwa People's Congress, OPC, on Sunday. It was learnt that three of his men apprehended with him were said to be undergoing interrogation by the police. Wakili, who was shown to some selected journalists at the LALA police headquarters, was said to have regained full consciousness. He appeared better, contrary to the fallen look he wore in a viral video when he was apprehended by the OPC members. Speaking with the selected journalist through an interpreter, Wakili recounted he was in his residence when he heard shouts of people. He spoke in Hausa Fulani language. All through the brief interaction with the selected media, he said he had told the people who besieged his residence were Amotaku operatives, but before he could make any move, he was grabbed and whisked by the people whom he later discovered to be the OPC members. He denied committing any crime leveled against him, saying people who have evidence of facts of any crime he had committed should make it public. He said he recently returned from Kutonu, where he had gone for medical treatment, but did not disclose the ailment. He noted that he was away to Kutonu for about a week ago, and only returned about two days before he was apprehended on Sunday. He confirmed that the OPC men took him to Ayete Station, where he was handed over to the police, but didn't say he was beaten or tortured by the OPC operatives. Wakili said he had also fallen victim of kidnapping, as two of his children were adopted and he had to pay ransom to secure their release. Speaking with journalists, CP Ungazi Onodeko said any residents with proven evidence of atrocities against the suspects should come forward for proper investigation. She added the detained members of OPC are still undergoing interrogation. On the seven suspects arrested for the Shasha crisis, who were only Yogubas, the commissioner said the suspects were nabbed by officers of the Nigeria Army and were only handed over to the police for prosecution. Another court confirmed the suspects have been charged to court, but urged the residents to desist from ethnic profiling of crimes. It's so unfortunate that criminals are treated like VIPs. Why the OPC members that caught Iskilu Wakili are still in detention? Wakili is enjoying normal life. Everybody in Ayete, even the police, knew that Wakili is a notorious Fulani Eda. They knew he is a kidnapper. They knew he collects ransom for people. And they've not been able to arrest him. The other time Sunday Bo went to Igogo. He was told to allow the law to take its, its course. The OPC members that arrested Iskilu Wakilu, what is their crime? Does it mean it is an offense to arrest criminals and hand them over to the police? We can't continue like this. Something needs to be done. Malu, 